Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on creating a V-Ray clipping plane in Rhino. I've got a simple model here which we've added a few textures to and we're going to look at creating a V-Ray clipping plane to give us a sectional render of this particular model. Now V-Ray clipping planes slightly differ from the typical clipping plane you get within Rhino and they can be found in the V-Ray toolbar up here if we go add clipper plane and they're just drawn out as a simple rectangle anywhere in the scene. Now you'll see once I add it, and we'll just stop and start this render again, it won't automatically clip my model. We can display the clip on the right hand side by just ticking the box which our clipping plane applies to, but it will automatically cut the model within the render regardless of whether we're displaying the clip or not. So if we turn that off, and I'm just going to start re-rendering my scene, You'll then see that the model is now cut, and if we move that scene, that plane up or down, it will then cut the model dependent on where we have that plane. Now, one of the main differences between V-Ray clipping planes and clipping planes you get automatically in Rhino is the fact that they automatically fill the object that they're cutting. So you'll see here that my walls have been filled with that cut material and it will usually by default match the material of the object you have. So if I cut slightly into the ground here, you can see that it's matching that grass material on the ground there. Now we can change that cut material to be whatever material we want it to be. So let's say I want to give it a kind of white cut material there. If I open up the V-Ray Asset Editor, locate my clipping plane, which is usually in the Geometries tab here, Make sure you open up this right hand menu just by clicking on this arrow here and instead of use object material which will be the default setting to this we turn that off and under the material i'm just going to make this new material here this one's just a white material and we're just going to add that in where it says material to white there and then i'm going to re-render that scene and you'll see now that anywhere that's being cut is being given this white material to it. We can move that up and down and that would change. So you can use that to give you certain section lines depending on kind of what cut you want in your scene and how you want that to look. Now another really useful feature of a V-Ray clipping plane that you can't do with a typical clipping plane is the ability to render the accurate lighting that you get within an object. You'll notice by default, if we've kind of got this clipping plane working on this object here, that the lighting within this space essentially matches what it would be if the object was physically cut. We're getting a lot of extra light in here because it's basically acting as if the model has been chopped open from the top and all that new light is coming in. Now, if you want to actually render this plan with the accurate lighting you would have if the model wasn't being cut, Usually you can't do that with a typical clipping plane, but you can with a V-Ray clipping plane, and the option for that is just found under the options setting here, and if we turn off the effect lights option and then re-render that out, you'll then see that it's a lot darker, and we're getting this nice green light coming in and the shadows that you would have if the building was built or fully complete and not chopped open. So this is a really useful feature if you want to take plan cuts of your model but still get the specific lighting you would have if the model wasn't chopped. And you can see it here, the green tints essentially coming from my window here which is blue in the model and we're getting the accurate lighting and shadows of the objects that are being clipped from this clipping plane. So that's another really useful feature of that. You can also see the accurate shadow of the building behind. So that was just a quick introduction to V-Ray clipping planes. They're a very simple tool and they're really useful for essentially taking sectional rendered models. You might want to keep the shadows in your render and cut them in a specific way like this. So thank you for watching and if you want to watch any other videos on V-Ray tools or V-Ray materials, please check out the rest of the videos on the channel.